So you know how once every while there is this big celebration? Your grandma's birthday, your cousin's wedding, or something like that? It's pretty common where I'm from to have alcohol on the table for such occasions. For us, it's vodka, aka the grown-up drink. But in China, it's Baidou. Baidou is not your regular alcohol that you keep on a shelf to drink with dinner. It is an alcohol that you drink to celebrate or to get drunk quickly. It ranges from very cheap to very expensive. And on one of the highest shelves, there is Mao Tai. Mao Tai is a brand of Baidou that originated in Guizhou and it's widely known in culture as well as in pop culture. This label cannot be mistaken for anything else. If you see somebody drinking Mao Tai or gifting Mao Tai, that means that the occasion must be super special or that they were looking to burn some money because half a liter of that thing costs like 1500 yuan. And that's not even the most expensive variety. By comparison, you can buy a cheap bottle of popular brand Baidu in Family Mart for like 10 kwai. I've only ever been in presence of Mao Tai once when my supervisor at the university organized a party after a super huge conference and it was a big deal. I am not an expert on any alcohol, let alone Baidu, but Multi for sure isn't something I would drink for the taste, but the message was received. My supervisor was trying to make an impression and so he did. All this is to paint you a picture as for why people were so surprised when Multi announced their collaboration with Luckin Coffee. I thought it was a joke until I saw this. And as I told you, you cannot mistake this for anything else. Normally I would be the first one in line to drink this because I'm a fan of everything weird, but dude, it was sold out before I could even think of trying it. Lacking Coffee has almost 11,000 stores around the country and it was sold out everywhere. Let's back up for a moment and talk about Lacking. If you've ever been to China, then I probably don't have to introduce this brand to you. It was supposed to be the Chinese Starbucks, which is saying something because there are so many Starbuckses in China that it's easier to find a Starbucks than a parking spot. The major advantage of Luckin is that their coffee is cheap. And it has always been so. When they first opened, you could get the first coffee for free when you registered in their system. And you had to register in their system because there is literally no other way to order. You can come to their store and try to talk to somebody, but in the end, you will have to scan the code and order in the app. Paying with cash is not an option because everything is on your phone. You cannot see the products and you cannot view the menu. And some menu it is. They have a collection of some of the weirdest creations that I have ever seen. And they are all beautifully Chinese. No pumpkin spice latte out here. But as you can probably guess, it is cheap because it's not the best. Among the Chinese coffee chains, Luckin is on the very bottom. And this is why this collaboration has been very puzzling to the Chinese internet. Many people describe it as just embarrassing for the Maute brand. They describe it as tu, which I understand as cringy. Something that has always been perceived as a luxurious treat now is being added to the cheapest coffee. But because Mao Tai is so expensive and the cup of Mao Tai coffee from Lakin is like 19 kwai, you can ask yourself, is Mao Tai even in there? If you do the math, it clearly isn't. They don't actually put Mao Tai in the coffee, but the taste is there. But because the taste is there and because it's cheap, this might be the only opportunity for some people to try it. A month later, Luckin is still somehow advertising this product, putting the logo on everything, even though it is long sold out, which proves that the campaign was successful. Hold your horses right there, because the thing is actually back, but nobody cares anymore. And Luckin has moved to the next great thing, which apparently is mascarpone latte. But it begs the question, 
What the hell is Mautai doing? Are they going to start selling in supermarkets next, like your regular Argotol? So we've established that you drink Baizil to get drunk. The alcohol content is above 50%, but it doesn't stop them from putting it into apparently anything. We've had Mautai ice cream, which was not cheap either, by the way. So why not? Mao Tai chocolate. I am talking about yet another collaboration, this time between Dove chocolate and Mao Tai. Now, this thing was originally 32 kwai for two pieces of chocolate, which, believe me, is not the most expensive chocolate that China has ever seen. The difference between Mao Tai coffee and this one is that the chocolate actually has Mao Tai in it. But let's think for a second here. It's not uncommon in Poland to get vodka-filled chocolates as a gift. When you are a kid, this is like the best thing ever. And when you are an adult, you would rather have Kinder chocolate. But after all, it is a box of chocolates. So what do you do with two pieces of chocolate? You save it for an afternoon snack? Why not have a Snickers instead? China has some of the weirdest sneakers I've ever seen, but this is a story for another time. Of course you can buy them in bigger boxes and they are more expensive, but if you end up with this guy, it's just sad. Initially, it sold out within a minute. At an official price, at an official store, but you can go to Taobao right now and buy it for five times the original price. And this is where we arrive at the sad truth. All these promotional stunts serve one purpose, and the purpose is to create shitstorm in social media. If you search Xiao Hongshu for multi chocolate, the word you will see a lot is Xiang. Xiang is a very popular word in e commerce, which basically means to snatch. It is when you wait for the product to hit the market so you can fight hundreds of thousands of other people to get it. On an English website, the button will probably say something like buy now or add to cart, like it's nothing. But in China, we tell things as they are. And Xiang creates a sense of competition, an urgency. You have to get it right now because later it will be gone. And if you go to Taobao, you will find a lot of multi merch. Legos, socks, t-shirts, mugs, all the stuff that the company probably didn't even approve. But it is getting more and more popular and fashionable, and it will eventually help Mao Tai break onto the tables of the younger generation, and not as coffees and chocolates anymore.